Walker. Super Cruise is the industry's first true hands-free driver assistance system. So we launched back in 2017 on the Cadillac CT6. And since then we've had a number of enhancements and improvements to the system. In the GMC Sierra Denali Ultimate today, you're gonna to see the latest version of Super Cruise. Um, a couple of things there. Super Cruise is a driver assistance system. It's not a autonomous driving system. So we wanna make sure that the driver is engaged in a loop and you know aware of the environment around them uh, just at all times. The system will also engage you to ask to take you to take over along the way if anything uh, comes up as well. So as part of that, we a couple of key technologies that we leverage include the driver attention system. So if you look at the top of the steering column there, there's a little camera, and that camera will actually look to see the driver's uh, eye gaze. So we can check out the eye, driver's eye position as well as head position. And using uh, those metrics, we can actually tell where the eye, driver is paying attention. And then, so that's what we will make sure the driver is being focused on the road ahead. So a couple of things there in terms of turning on Super Cruise. So today, Super Cruise is available on over 200,000 miles of capable roads in the US and Canada. Uh, one of the key uh, factors there is that part of the Super Cruise system is our advanced LiDAR maps. So we have a team that goes out and does LiDAR scanning for all of the roads that Super Cruise is enabled on. And so the LiDAR map scanning process happens and the maps are stored locally on the vehicle here today. Um, so with the LiDAR maps, one of the things that we're gonna do is that we're going to have you enter one of the Super Cruise capable roads today. I think it's gonna be I-5. So once you enter I-5, you'll go ahead and get centered in your lane. Once you're centered in the lane, you're gonna be looking out for a white steering wheel icon to pop up on your gauge cluster. When that steering wheel icon pops up, you can go ahead and turn on Super Cruise. So Super Cruise, the Super Cruise button is going to be on the left switch bank of the steering wheel on the bottom right of that switch bank. And so you can go ahead and press that button whenever you get to the highway. When you press the button, you'll likely see that the light bar at the top of the wheel will turn green. And green is our, you know, our signal to the driver to say that Super Cruise is enabled, you're good to go, you are ready for a hands-free driving. And so once you see green, you can go ahead and feel free to take your hands off the wheel. Um, a couple of other things there, as I mentioned, the light bar state is really going to be tied to the state of Super Cruise as a system. So green means you're good to go, hands-free driving is ready. Blue is going to be our driver override. So let's say you're driving along and you decided you want to make a manual intervention to Super Cruise while you're driving. You can feel free to go ahead and grab the steering wheel at any time. And once you grab the wheel, you'll notice that it turns from green to blue. And so in that blue state, do any maneuvering you need to. And then once you get the vehicle centered back in the lane, Super Cruise will actually go back to a green state and you can go ahead and take your hands off the wheel again. Uh, in 22, we added a new feature set. We're gonna have, in 21 actually, to back up a step, in model year 21, we added the lane change on demand feature with the introduction of the Cadillac Escalade and the Cadillac CT4 and CT5 with Super Cruise. And in those vehicles, we added lane change on demand, which is a driver initiated lane change. So when you're out on the highway today at any time, you can feel free to go ahead and press down on the uh, turn signal stock in the direction that you wanna do a lane change. And you'll see that the vehicle will check the surroundings around it, make sure that it's safe to do a lane change and then initiate a lane change. Um, for model year 22, we added a number of new features as well, one of them being automated lane change or automatic lane change. So instead of a driver initiated lane change, that one's going to be a system initiated lane change. Let's say you're going 70 miles an hour when you're enabled in Super Cruise and you come up on a vehicle that's moving slower than you and slower than your set speed. Super Cruise will actually enable, will notice that that uh, speed delta is occurring and it will move you in an overtake maneuver to be able to get around that vehicle. So it'll do an automated lane change without any driver interaction there. It will move you into the left lane, pass the vehicle, and then move you back into the original lane as well. A couple of other scenarios in which Super Cruise might do an automated lane change. Let's say you're on a lane on the highway where the lane is ending. It'll move you out of the ending lane and into a lane that's continuing on. So you can move ahead continuing without any interruption there as well. And another one is gonna be if you're in a lane, uh, let's say you're in the furthest lane in the highway and there's an on-ramp incoming, if the system detects that there's a vehicle on that on-ramp, we'll actually move you out of that furthest lane as well, both to give that person some more room to merge and to give you some comfortability with them merging as well. Um, in addition to some of the other 22 features, we've added some integration with the onboard Google built-in navigation system. So the Google Maps system that's on the vehicle right now, if you enter your destination into the system, you'll actually be able to see that 
when you've got a new destination entered in the route selection screen, you'll actually be able to see how much of your trip is super cruise capable. And then from there, you can go through and look at the other routes as well to see and optimize how much time you want to spend in super cruise. Beyond that, um, the other major enhancement that we've added for model year 22 is going to be our super cruise with trailering feature. So when you've got a, hook, a trailer hooked up with Super Cruise in these Model Year 22 trucks, including the Sierra Denali Ultimate, um, we'll actually be able to retain the majority of that core Super Cruise functionality, including uh, you know, all the lane centering functionality and being able to follow uh, the lane path ahead of you while you're on the, on the road. One limitation there is that we do not turn on the lane change features when you've got a trailer attached, specifically for the fact that you know, with where the trailer is positioned, as I mentioned earlier, we use a combination of cameras and sensors around the vehicle to do our super cruise, uh, you know, our object detection and things to that effect. And with a trailer hooked up to the rear of the vehicle, you won't be able to uh, get uh, information out of those radars that are in the rear of the vehicle. So we disable the lane change features as a result.